And towards the end of this message, I'm going to give everyone a challenge. I'm going to give everyone a challenge. So please make sure that you listen for the challenge that I'm going to give every person in this room. We all know the good things that come from volunteering. You're healthier, you're more physically active, you're more mentally active. We all know that when you volunteer, you give way more than you give. But what I want to talk to you about this morning is what happens when no one volunteers. What happens when no one cares, when no one helps? What happens? Have you ever thought of what this world, what this community would be like? What would South Park community be like if no one cared? What would Pear Archer community be like if no one cared, if no one volunteered? Volunteers change the life of one girl and one boy at a time. Now that change will start with that child or that teenager, but it will not end with that child or that teenager. The reading, the mentoring, the tutoring starts with that child, but it does not end with that child. But let's look at a child or a teenager where no one volunteers, no one cares, no one helps. That child is lonely. That teenager gets left behind in school. That child is in fights, and we've seen that here lately. That teenager can become a teenage mother or a teenage father. That child can end up in juvenile boot camp right down the street on Highway 69. That teenager can become lost emotionally and physically. If no one cares, if no one volunteers, this is what could happen. Volunteers are doing more than just reading or tutoring. Volunteers are doing more than just teaching their ABCs and one, two, threes. You are saving a life. Now, I know that I'm the director of Golden Triangle RSVP, but I am here to tell you, you do not have to be a part of an organization to volunteer. You can do that on your own. You can volunteer in your neighborhood. You can volunteer in your schools. You can volunteer at Parkdale Mall. You can volunteer. When you volunteer, you are repairing a life. You are looking that boy or girl in their eyes and you are saying, you matter to me. You matter to the world. Not only are you saying to that child or that teenager that you matter, you are showing it. And showing it is the most important part. And like me, I'm sure many of you, if not all of you, the showing part is the most important. Show me that you care about me. Show me that you love me. Show me that you care if I graduate from high school or not. Show me that. Don't just tell me that. Show me that you think I'm important. Show me that you think that I'm beautiful. Don't just tell me that. We all know the saying, it takes a village to raise a child. You've heard that. And in 2020, that remains true more now than ever before. But the question is, who is the village? Well, I'm glad you asked. The village is you. The village is every person in this room. The village is every person that you go to school, that you go to work with. The village is every person that you go to church with. The village is the people that you're on the phone with. That is the village. We are the village. The villagers are those people who read to someone else's child because the mother or father works two jobs. The villager is someone who gently corrects our child when they're at school or at the park. The villagers are someone who tells the kid, get out the street, watch out for the cars. Those are the villagers. The villagers are the ones who pray for children. Even if it's not your child or your grandchild, you still pray for that child. You are the villagers. The villagers are the protectors of our community. You, we, everyone in this room is the backbone of this community. The villagers are the ones who step up and speak out when they see that a wrong has been committed. There is no way that one teacher can raise a child, uh, can teach a child. There is no way that one parent or one father can raise a child, let alone more than one. It truly takes you, it truly takes me, it takes everyone in this room to teach a child, to raise a child. We are the villagers. Being a volunteer is the village, and it takes all of us for our community to be successful. So here is my 
challenge for every person, including myself, in this room. So when you get tired as the village, still be the village. When you don't get a thank you, still be the village. When you don't get an immediate positive reaction, still be the village. When someone comes to you with a broken heart, be the village. When someone comes to you that's been let down, that's been lied on, be the village. When someone comes to you that wants to give up, that wants to drop out of school, be the village. When a student has been lied on and talked about and mistreated, be the village. If someone comes up as a teenage parent, a teenage mother or father, be the village. If someone is crying and in desperate need of assistance, even if it's not your child or your grandchild, still be the village. If someone is hungry or hurt or destitute, be the village. We are the village in this room. Be the village because we need you to be the village. Be the village because this community needs you to be the village. Be the village because South Park and Pear Orchard and Beaumont United needs you to be the village. Be the village. And then one day a child will stand before you at the Super Senior Breakfast and say, thank you to Commissioner Alfred. Thank you to Commissioner Senegal. Thank every person in here for being my village. Thank you.